Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to answer a question, and question is, what causes availability group to fail over? Well, straightforward answer, if any database in a particular uh, group, availability group databases, if you have created multiple availability groups, and you have uh, put multiple databases in each group, any database that uh, is in that particular group uh, goes offline, that is going to uh, uh, cause the failover that is going to trigger failover or the second uh, uh, common option I'm just talking about common uh, 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 common reasons really common causes there there could be more uh, causes that you know trigger availability group to failover but the second is that if a primary replica uh, or the resource of that particular Windows cluster goes down then it fails over in the first option if you do not have uh, availability group failover automatic actually it's going to go down and uh, uh, you will be looking for downtime so if you wanted availability group to fail over to the secondary automatically you have to set that option that okay go ahead and fail over automatically otherwise it'll wait for your input to manually fail over uh, it to the secondary uh, replica i hope it helps